एम एस रामाया यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अप्लाइड साइंसेस हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस डिस्कस द एक्सपेरिमेंट टू डिटर्मिन द इम्पैक्ट स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द गिवन मेटीरियल इम्पैक्ट स्ट्रेंथ इज एबिलिटी ऑफ अ मेटीरियल टू विथ स्टैंड अ सडनली अप्लाइड लोड एंड इट इज एक्सप्रेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी इन जूल्स एन इम्पैक्ट टेस्ट signifies toughness of a material which is the ability of a material to absorb energy during plastic deformation static tension tests of specimens do not always reveal the susceptibility of a metal to brittle fracture this important factor is determined by impact test Impact test measures the energy necessary to fracture a standard notch bar by applying an impulse load. Impact tests are classified as pendulum and drop weight test. Azod and Sharpie impact tests are two types of pendulum tests. The Sharpie impact test is also known as Sharpie V notch test. The test was developed by George Sharpie This is a standardized high strain rate test which determines the amount of energy absorbed by a material during fracture. This absorbed energy is a measure of a given material's notch toughness. It is widely applied in industry since it is easy to conduct and results can be obtained quickly. Standard specimen details according to ASTM A370 The standard specimen size for Sharpie impact test is 10 mm by 10 mm by 55 mm. Specimen should have notch of depth 2 mm and inscribed angle 45 degree. Test is performed by keeping specimen as simply supported beam as shown in the figure. This experimental setup consists of pointer, scale, striking hammer, brake, vice jaws and pendulum. To start the experiment measure the length breadth and depth under notch of specimen using vernier calipers fix the hammer in the pendulum at 120 degree with respect to vertical post fix the pendulum in the holder such that the energy possessed by the hammer is 300 joules adjust the pointer on the outside scale to indicate 300 joules and take initial reading as 300 joules Release the pendulum by operating the lever so as to swing and strike the specimen. Note the pointer reading on scale. Take it as final reading. Repeat the same procedure for different samples. Do the necessary calculations to find impact strength of materials. Observations and calculations. Length of the specimen L is equal to 55 mm. breadth of the specimen b is equal to 10 mm depth of the specimen under notch d is equal to 8 mm effective cross sectional area of the specimen a is equal to 10 into 8 is equal to 80 mm square initial scale reading that is initial energy 300 joules final scale reading that is a residual energy is equal to 42 joules energy absorbed by specimen is equal to 258 joules Impact strength is equal to absorbed energy divided by effective cross sectional area that is equal to 258 divided by 80 which is equal to 3.225 joules per mm square repeat the experiment for different materials to find its impact strength hello friends today i am going to do the impact test on the mild steel so usually impact test is to measure the toughness of the material so here the energy absorbed by the specimen during the fracture so that gives the toughness of the material this experimental setup consists of latching tube this is the latching tube here we need to fix this latching tube at 120 degree with respect to vertical support for the charpy test and it is made to hold the pendulum this is striker for the charpy test we need to select the sharp edged striker for the iso test we need to take the sharp edged striker dial this dial consists of 
two scales this outer scale is for charpey test and this inner scale is for the isot test and here in this scale this one division is equal to two joules and the maximum readings that is 168 joules for the isot test and 300 joules for the charpey test which indicates the potential energy stored in the hammer when it is kept at 90 degree for the isot test and 120 degree for the charpey test with respect to vertical support pointer this is the dial pointer which is used to take the reading and this is the pointer carrier pendulum tube pendulum hammer and break to stop the pendulum to start the charpy test on mild steel take a, a mild steel specimen of cross section dimension 10 mm by 10 mm and of length 55 mm in that we need to make a v notch of depth 2 mm this is specimen support let us start the experiment first we need to keep the specimen over the specimen support keep the specimen in such a way that the notch of the specimen it should coincide with this line after placing the specimen keep the pointer at 300 joules and take 300 joules as the initial reading then open this lock and and release the hammer releasing the hammer hammer will strike the specimen and specimen will break then you need to take the final reading here the final reading is 42 joules we can repeat the same procedure to know the impact strength of the other materials also with this completes the experiment at msr uas we spark your imagination unlike any other